In 2021, we saw the launch of the performance-centric Tesla Model S and Model X Plaid, a new full self-driving autopilot subscription, record profits, and even more great stuff. We also saw price hikes, supply chain issues, delays, recalls, plenty of negative publicity, and more of Elon Musk just being his usual controversial self. Now with 2021 finally over, it's time to stop looking back and start looking forward. So here's what you can likely expect from Tesla over the course of 2022. Cybertruck launch. With the likes of the Rivian R1T already hitting the roads, the age of electric trucks is finally upon us. Tesla was set to join them before the end of 2021, but the company's penchant for delays means that the Cybertruck won't be arriving until sometime in late 2022. That said, a lot has changed in the electric truck world over the past few years. Ford is launching its F-150 Lightning, GMC's Hummer EV is on the horizon, and there is no short of independent electric truck automakers looking to fill a void. But if you ask me, I don't think we'll see the Cybertruck hit mass production until mid-2023 to late 2023 with all the supply chain issues we're currently facing. But the Cybertruck isn't an ordinary electric truck with a big battery and powerful motors. It has those, but it also has an angled steel exoskeleton instead of your usual car frame. The Cybertruck isn't indestructible, but it does mean it's a heck of a lot stronger than your normal car. As far as gimmicks go, the ability to withstand 9mm rounds and sledgehammers is a pretty good one. Whether the Cybertruck is successful or not is another matter. And even Elon Musk has admitted its bonkers design might put some people off. Still, with the cancellation of the Tesla Model S Plaid Plus and further delays to the second generation Tesla Roadster, the Cybertruck looks to be Tesla's only major launch of 2022. New upgrades and more features. While the Cybertruck is the only Tesla vehicle currently slated to launch in the next 12 to 18 months, we can be sure that Tesla's existing portfolio will be getting some significant upgrades throughout 2022. Some of those upgrades, heading for the Model 3 and Model Y, have already been leaked. The fact is that Tesla can't afford to stand still. The company has a reputation of pushing boundaries and changing cars to offer a uniquely Tesla experience, for better or for worse, whether that's adding video games to the infotainment system or the infamous yoke steering wheel. Increased competition means it's more important than ever for Tesla to keep digging deep in innovations. Chip shortages or not, we can reasonably expect Tesla to make some serious changes. That includes smaller tweaks to performance, improvement to cars running the full self-driving autopilot beta, and more significant upgrades to upcoming cars. It's hard to say what they'll exactly be, especially on the higher-end Model S and Model X cars. More delays and price hikes. As unfortunate as it is to see, Tesla's prices slowly crept upwards over 2021. And we shouldn't expect that to end in 2022. The tech industry is in a precarious position right now, thanks to the global chip shortage and other COVID-influenced delays to the supply chain. Tesla has proven that it's not immune to those problems, and that's a big part of why prices have been creeping up. But the virus has proven it's not going anywhere anytime soon, and the chip shortages are expected to last well into 2023. So the problems Tesla has already experienced are likely to continue, potentially getting even worse. How that problem will manifest itself is anyone's guess, and that'll all be up to Tesla. But we can reasonably expect the automaker will continue to raise prices to counteract the supply chain issues, with further delays of its upcoming cars certainly not off the table. After all, Tesla has been infamous for its delays even before the pandemic. Let's just hope that Tesla doesn't continue delivering cars without certain components, like USB ports or wireless chargers, before giving people a warning first. Increased Competition 10 years ago, Tesla was the only automaker taking electric cars seriously. These days, just about every automaker either sells or is planning to sell electric cars. Plenty of those cars are due in 2022 with luxury features that give Tesla a run for its money. Whether that's advances in driver autonomy, faster recharging capabilities, or a range that comes close to giving the Model S a run for its money. Some of those cars are proving to be incredibly popular as well as a Ford F-150 Lightning. Ford received so many reservations for its electric truck that it had to stop taking them. 2022 is going to mark the year where Tesla is going to have to step up and start taking the rest of the electric car industry seriously. As popular and appealing that Tesla cars may be, they're not perfect. Tesla still has a little bit of trouble with build quality and the prices keep increasing. Not to mention the controversial design choices like the Model S and Model X's yoke steering. Reputation and brand recognition can go a long way when there's little to no competition, but that is no longer the case for EVs. So Tesla needs to make sure not to ignore the problem until it's too late. More Tesla vehicle announcements. As far as we know, Tesla only has one car to be announced in 2022, and that's the rumored Model 2. However, that doesn't mean it won't have plenty more to announce throughout the year. 
especially as competition from other automakers revs up. Earlier last year, we learned that Tesla was developing a smaller hatchback car and aiming for a $25,000 price tag. While that EV isn't due to arrive until 2023 at the absolute earliest, it does mean Tesla could have some more surprise announcements in the pipeline for 2022. We could conceivably see more powerful versions of the Model 3 and Model Y in the near future. The Model S and Model X both have the Plaid powertrains, and it's not unreasonable to suggest that something similar could happen to Tesla's more affordable cars. But perhaps not quite on the same level, considering how expensive the Plaid variants are. It would be nice to see the standard range Model Y return after it was unceremoniously scrapped for having under 250 miles of range. A drop in the crossover SUV's price from the 58990 it is right now would also be appreciated. Or it could be something completely different, but with the electric car industry growing, especially in the US, we would be shocked if Tesla went another 12 months without announcing something new. As far as outlook for Tesla stock goes, we can expect it to continue to rise as Tesla continues to break delivery records and beat revenue and profit expectations. In my opinion, that shouldn't be too hard since demand continues to ramp up for Tesla and as new gigafactories near completion. Giga Texas and Giga Berlin are not quite fully completed yet, but Tesla is able to have them produce vehicles without them being 100% completed, like how they did for Giga Shanghai. But once Giga Texas and Giga Berlin are able to ramp up production, mass deliveries will follow and quarterly records will be broken followed by a higher stock price. While there are many competitors in the EV space, Tesla continues to dominate market share while battling through the chip shortage and now is seeing China demand to step up big time after facing headwinds earlier in 2021. The underlying demand for electric vehicles in general and Tesla products specifically remains strong with demand outstripping supply. Tesla achieved record deliveries every quarter in 2021 while the industry at large struggled to find its footing. Tesla has also undertaken a massive expansion of its manufacturing capabilities. Elon wants to eventually build 20 million electric vehicles a year over the next decade. That's more than double the current production of other automaking giants. So it's now a mission to rapidly expand its manufacturing capabilities. When Tesla starts pumping out cars in Germany, it will go head to head in electric vehicles with the three established German names of Volkswagen, Mercedes-Benz, and BMW. With all this info, is it a good time to buy Tesla stock? Well, I cannot say that. I am not a financial advisor. That decision is 100% up to you. I will say that Tesla has been able to avoid the brunt of the supply crunch as well as ongoing disruption to supply chains during the pandemic, as unlike some of its competitors. That's mainly due to Tesla being able to produce its own components, including semiconductors and batteries in-house. The lead time for a base Model Y stretches all the way out to November, and things are worse for the base Model X. You're looking at May of 2023 to get your Model X. It's probable that these delivery times will change as Giga Texas and Giga Berlin are fully up and running. If you enjoyed this video, drop a like and be sure to subscribe. Comment your thoughts on what you think Tesla will do in 2022. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next one.